guys, I've reviewed a number of different subscription boxes, and there are some really good ones out there. There's some that are just mediocre. Uh, but one that I find consistently is the best, is the Battle Box. Uh, this is something that they really put a lot of thought into these, and the products are always excellent. Uh, many times I'm just shocked <laughs> at uh, you know the savings that you can get on these boxes. Now, a lot of guys aren't really into subscription boxes because you know you just don't know what you're going to get. Uh, but one of the things that I love about BattleBox in particular is that they send things that I really find useful. And it introduces me to a lot of things that I may not even know about. So we're going to take a look today. Uh, this is a, I think this is the third BattleBox review I've done. Uh, but this is their self-defense box. And so I really wanted to bring this one to you. I think it fits a lot of different roles uh, that you can use today. Not necessarily something for survival or something for, you know, tactical type theme, but something that every day this could come in handy. Here we have a box with the Spartan helmet, uh, and there's always different size boxes <laughs> just according to what they're sending. It does have the Battle Box Mission Stats card, and this tells you all the different items that are in here according to which uh, level that you get. On the back you have your sit rep mission, and uh, this is Danger Close, and there's just a lot of information about what you're getting. We've got some fire starting material. They always pack it. Now we're going to unpack the box and it comes in a basic, an advanced, and a pro, and a pro plus. And we're going to check out each one starting out with the basic. These are the items you get in the basic kit. I'm going to open them all up, but I just wanted to show you how they come in the box. Uh, we have the Saber Red. This is a uh, defense personal defense spray pepper spray saber is one of the best and this particular one has a uv dye in it so if you spray somebody with it they're going to be they're going to have a dye on them but it also has about 35 sprays so um or uses so that's pretty serious um, all you do is is just turn it and it brings it down and then you can hit it and then you bring it back around of course the saber pepper spray um you know rubber dummy doesn't like pepper spray but he agreed to test this for me. So, woo! <laughs> Golly, man. I just took a whiff of that stuff. <coughs> Here you can see where the dye got on his face. Uh, I'm telling you guys, I can't hardly stand to sit here. <clears throat> it is just strong. I think we've got 34 more squirts, <laughs> so we're good to go. <coughs> I'm telling you, that's some good stuff. <coughs> Next, we have the Saber Personal Key Alarm. Uh, this is a little siren, and it's got a little place in here at the back to activate the battery. I just wanted to show that. And then when you pull this out, there's two separate alarms that are going to go off. Man, that's incredible. Uh, that is, man, that's deafening. But anyway, you can attach this to your key ring and as you're walking out in the parking lot or whatever. In fact, this is going to be perfect for my daughter. Uh, she already has some pepper spray, but this would be great for her. She goes into work really early in the morning. And uh, a great way just to kind of get somebody <laughs> away from you as soon as possible. One thing I like about the alarm key ring is that this doesn't just pull right out. Uh, it's not going to just come out. You're going to have to mean to pull it. And then you're going to really want to get it back in there as quick as possible. Next we have the, the ABKT, American Buffalo Knife and Tool. Uh, this is a small little punch dagger. It has a neck lanyard here to, is, to use as a neck knife and a small little kydex sheath. Uh, and then we have G10 scales. And then you pull it out and uh, you can use this uh, in a self-defense situation. I mean, that would make an incredible punch. So that's a pretty cool little tool as well. Now in a self-defense situation, anything you have to get someone off of you to make them uncomfortable, uh, just like this small little neck knife. Holding it like this to where it rests right here in the back of my fingers actually made it more comfortable. So you can take it, put it in, and I'll tell you guys, this is made from tire rubber. So it is really tough, but I think this would do a lot of damage if you ever needed to use it. And it would definitely get somebody away from you. And then last but not least, we have a stun gun. This is the ViperTech. Uh, it's the VTS-989. Now, ViperTech makes a lot of different stun guns. 
and this is one of their more they're just their better ones they're a little bit larger a little more powerful one uh, I've seen all kind of claims as to what the rating is on this up to 19 million volts and all that um, but this is a pretty cool little thing to be able to carry around in a self-defense situation first off uh, you have a flashlight that's built in and so you know and it's it's not super powerful but it's not bad especially if you're looking to uh, open a door and you need a little bit of light um, and so you can just hit it and then you go one more and of course that red dot means that this is armed and so right on the other side is your trigger and this it has a kind of a really soft rubberized type coating on it so you hold it down and man <laughs> That is incredible. In fact, when I was first testing it, I had my hand up here on this contact point, and I shocked myself, but um, I'm not gonna do that on camera, because this thing is pretty serious. Uh, one thing, though, too, is you'll notice these contact points, and I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off. These contact points are made so if somebody goes to grab it, this actually shocks them. So uh, this is a built-in self-defense mechanism there, and then also here at the front with those contacts. And they are pointed, and this really allows for you to get into clothing, heavy clothing, things like that, to be able to make contact. But uh, one thing they say is, is when you press this button, only do it for a second unless you're touching something. But you turn it on. <laughs> now, one other cool thing about this, it is self-charging. It has a rechargeable battery in it, and it does have a cable that goes with it. One thing I did notice is when I put this in my outlet, it did seem to kind of want to slide out. It doesn't fit very tight, so you might want to spread the prongs or whatever uh, to make that a little tighter. Another thing is it does have a small little carrying case that comes with it. So that's a pretty cool little system. Now, there are some places that do not allow for stun guns. Uh, and if those areas instead, you'll get a U.S. Marine hand-to-hand -hand combat book. It's pretty nice. And a tactical notebook that's really nice. Now, I don't have those, but those are the other options. Come here, kitty, kitty. Just kidding. That's my cat. I love my cat. <laughs> the basic kit costs $24.99. And according to the sheet that I got, it says it's a $54.95 value. So you're getting double your money. So instead, I went and looked it up. I looked the prices up on these, uh, on Amazon and some different places, trying to find some of the best prices out there. And I still came up with $50.97. So this is, you're getting this for really half price of what you would buy if you did it, bought it separately. Now next comes the advanced box. Uh, with that, you get all the items that we've shown already. Plus we get this Ready Man. Uh, this is the Ready Man Wraith. It's a fixed blade belt knife comes with a really nice sheath that you can slide through the belt, kind of to wear it behind your back, uh, along your belt. Or these can be moved to different ways, and that way you can actually wear this like a standard belt with the handle in the up position. But it's a really nice, just a very nice knife, and it has a rubberized handle. And that's one of the things a lot of times, especially these skeletonized knives, they're all metal, and you end up needing to wrap it in paracord or whatever. But with this... Uh, it has a soft, good feel to it. It has some jimping right here. Uh, it has a tanto type blade and a little bit of serration. So I really like this little knife. I mean, it's a nice knife. Ready Man does a lot of different things uh, in the EDC and survival community. So uh, very strong. It pops in really good. And I mean, this thing is lock solid in there. So um, a great fixed blade option for EDC if you want to carry something like this. Plus, you could actually run a lanyard through here, wrap it around your neck take off these uh, belt loops, and this would be a good neck knife. The Ready Man Wraith, man, that thing just fits flat. And of course, this is really great for around the back, but this makes it a little easier to demonstrate. But I can pull it right out. It's very handy, and it rides really close. So you don't even know it's there. Pull it out, I'm ready to go. Of course, that Wraith, you can pull it out, use it. I mean, it is so handy. Going on your belt like that, especially in that a horizontal position and man this thing sticks very well next is from Battletech uh, this is a company that actually uh, BattleBox I think they own this uh, but this is one of their items and it is one of the uh, Kubatons this is all aluminum it's really lightweight and uh, even has a little belt clip but this is a really cool self-defense tool uh, you know, you can use this as more of a non-lethal type way to, you know, to defend yourself. And it's just a really good quality piece. 
has a nice finish to it. Uh, the clip can be removed, and um, there's a ton of different ways to use this. One thing about the Kubaton, you got that grip, you can put your finger through that loop, and while this is a non-lethal option, um, you got to be careful <laughs> where you're going to put this thing because you can put it in pressure points or, you know, in the neck, whatever, whatever it takes to get them off of you, especially according to what situation. But that way it gives you a non-lethal option uh, just to be able to get somebody away from you. And yet, if you really need something, you've got it. Uh, it's so lightweight and easy to carry, and it just fits right there in that knuckle. The clip rides a little high, but it just keeps that loop up so I can grab it, pull it right out, and I've got a good secure fit to it. I'm not just grabbing it and fumbling around with it. I can get my finger in there, pull it up, and I'm ready to go. And this clip is removable. Now the price on the advanced box is $49.99. Uh, and that includes, again, the tools that you get in your basic kit, the pepper spray, the alarm, uh, the stun gun, and the punch dagger. And so now, according to BattleBox, this is $144.89 value for everything. You're getting it for $49. Uh, once I looked up all the prices, it ended up coming out at $120.96. So you're still getting it for almost a third of the price if you went out and bought all these items separately. Now next we have the Pro, and again, all the items that I've shown already are included in the Pro. Plus, you get the Mantis, and this is the BK-2A bottleneck knife. Uh, now this is kind of like a balisong, and so it flips around, uh, it clips right here into place. has a very unique looking blade shape, uh, razor sharp all the way around this way, and then the tip, which is concaved in, is also pretty razor sharp. And so this is really great for even opening boxes and things like that, but also uh, to use as a self-defense tool in a you know pretty tough situation. Uh, also has a clip and it has another bottle opener. So um, I guess the thing is a lot of EDC guys are beer drinkers, so <laughs> this really comes in handy. Now the Mantis bottleneck knife to me is not something you're going to employ quickly unless you are used to a balisong. Um, you know, maybe you could use that and flip it around. It is small. For me, I'd probably consider this more of an EDC tool. I can keep it in my pocket. I can open boxes, uh, do small tasks with a knife, and uh, it does have those small little tips on the end, but uh, really, I mean, you could definitely do some devastating uh, work if you needed just to get somebody away from you and uh, to be able to for self-defense, but to me, this is more of what I would consider just an EDC tool. This is the Bastion Gear Self-Defense Belt Tool. Now this is a really cool little item. Uh, it actually, you can see it clips onto your belt. Uh, it is a bottle opener. Uh, it also has this point right here and this is really weighted. Um, I think this is aluminum but this area right here is really thick and so it's really heavy. Just on this end. So it's going to give you a little bit of weight. Uh, it's made to grab hold like this and use um, it for a self-defense tool uh, and it just fits again right down on your belt. I really like the Bastion Gear belt self-defense tool. I mean it fits right here. It just fits into your EDC. It doesn't take up any room. Uh, it's not more stuff in your pockets. It's right here where you can get to it if you need to. Uh, of course you have your bottle opener there but also you're ready to go locking that thing into place this way but it really fits this way. And then you have that small little tip on the end. Man, <laughs> that's gonna make somebody's day really rough. With this tool in your hand, I mean, you can really get a hold. I think uh, definitely you may wanna again go where it's actually at the back of your hand. So when you're using this, uh, but I'm telling you, that is one more devastating piece. Now the Pro Box cost $99.99. Uh, according to BattleBox, the value is $244. After doing a lot of research on the different items, um, it, I came up with $190.41. So you're still saving $90 if you went out and bought these separately and you really had to shop around. One thing, though, I do want to mention is Jeff at Cutlery Lover loves this knife. He wanted to do a full review on it, and so uh, we'll see how that goes. So very unique and different. Not necessarily my style, but you know, we'll see what Jeff says about it. And last but not least, we have the Pro Plus, and this is actually what they call the Knife of the Month Club. Uh, this runs $149 for everything else that we've got in, this, in the book. Okay. This runs $149.99, including everything we've shown. So we've got a nice little cover. 
Then you have a case. And then we have a karambit. Uh, this is a really cool folding karambit. Uh, these are used in ancient Asia. I know a lot of people still use these as a, a tool for hunting, but these ended up being a great self-defense option and used uh, with a lot of militaries over there because it's just a natural tool. Uh, with that hawk bill, this will slice open. I mean, it really leaves a gaping hole, even though that is a really short blade. And you can get a really good grip on it. Now, this is D2 steel, which is excellent. Uh, the uh, looks like it has like micarta, maybe, or some kind of polymer with texturing on it. Uh, and it does have a back lock, the lock, one of the, the back locks here, but also it has a lock at the front. So you can engage this lock, and this thing is not coming closed at all. You can disengage it, press the back, and then you can fold in your knife. And this also comes with a pocket clip. This is, again, from Battletech, and those guys are the same guys from Battlebox. One thing about a karambit is that it just fits in the hand. It makes it a natural motion. I mean, it's very easy. Uh, the way you're gripping it with the pinky coming through that little loop, and then with that hawk bill, I mean, you can definitely. I mean, it's cutting, it's cutting this rubber. It is D2 steel, so it's pretty solid. But um, if you really needed to, you know, incapacitate somebody, this would be the tool to use. Uh, typically, around the arms and legs, you can really stop someone. Uh, but if you needed to and your life was threatened, you know, this could be the difference between life and death. Um, but with that small blade, it's going to be a little easier to carry. Now, the total cost for the Pro Plus box is $149.99. The knife alone is $119, and then you get all the other gear included. Uh, according to Battlebox, it's a $364.87 value. Uh, looking at all the cheapest prices out there, we got it for about $310.40. So for $149, it's really half price. And that's the reason why Battlebox, to me, is the best subscription box out on the market. I mean, you can get a lot of really incredible gear at half or less. So, I mean, it's just a great option. Guys, this covers so many different options for self-defense, but what I really love about it is that there's a lot to share. And if you have loved ones, you can give them out to different ones, which I'm gonna do. And this just gives them that extra chance if they ever find themselves in that self-defense situation. So Battlebox, thumbs way up. So here are all the items laid out, and this is the Pro Plus and this is everything you get and again for $149.99 now if you're interested in checking out the battle box there's a link down in the description go to it you get a 10 percent discount uh, when you click that link and that gives you 10 percent off your first box and guys i'm telling you battle box to me and i've gone through a lot of these different boxes is the best box that i've found out on the market and they just keep delivering really high quality gear and the prices are just fantastic. And I want to thank Battlebox for sending this review. And when you do click on the link down below, it does support the Suits channel. So thanks guys for all you do. Thanks for watching. And guys, you've got to improvise to survive. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. This stuff is actually made from tire rubbers. Okay, <laughs> tire rubbers. This is made from tire rubbers to keep reproduction down of tires. Down below uh, for you to uh, go to. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. After all that, rubber dummy needs a smoke. I'm gonna smoke it for him. He can get the secondhand smoke. <laughs>